So in this portion of the experiment, we're going to be using the galvanometer as a voltmeter. It's connected in series with our variable resistor. Um, and so that the current that goes through the galvanometer is directly proportional to the voltage. And so the resistance in the variable resistor is adjusted um, and you'll be asked to do the calculation for that. And uh, we're setting it up so that um, we're not gonna use a 25 volt uh, design, we're gonna use a five volt design, um, given the limits of our, uh, let's see if I can, and um, given the limits of our uh, power source that we're working with. And so let's, set this up so we have a voltage that's going across the resistor and the galvanometer as well and so you're measuring the combined voltage across both and so again we're going to scale it so we're going to start with the reading of 0.2 and see how many volts we get and again it's set for uh, to read five uh, volts. So that's 1.31 volts at uh, two. So let's go to point four. That's 2.31 volts. Let's go to point six. That's 3.11 volts. Let's go to point eight. That's 4.10 volts and let's go all the way to the end. And that's 5.17 volts. So those are your five voltage readings. Again, it was designed to um, uh, read full, um, to read five volts at full scale. So comment on the sources of uncertainty in this uh, experiment also, and don't forget to calculate the voltage across the voltmeter, what it should be. And again, it's five volts, not 25, like it's written in the manual. And that's because of the uh, limitations of this particular power supply. Okay, and so when we get back to this, the last part of the experiment we're going to be working on involves what's called an ohmmeter or measuring resistance.